Well, happy Tuesday, everyone. This is the Castro Valley News live show. My name is Roberto. We do this show every Tuesday from 7 to 8. That's what we're going to be doing right now for, for a time. We start every episode with something called the roll call. And Ross is in the house. Good evening, Ross. Ross just sent 25 stars. Thank you, Ross. This is Ross's 29th week sending stars. Thank you, Ross. Kimberly is in the house. Good evening, Kimberly. Good evening to you as well. Tiffany is with us as well. Tiffany just sent 100 stars. Thank you, Tiffany. This is Tiffany's 66th week sending stars. Tiffany, hope you're having a wonderful evening. Hi, Liam. Hope you're doing well. Bob is in the house. Bob, I hope you're feeling better. I hope you are getting the uh, the better of COVID as we speak. Bob says, it's Tuesday, Newsday at CV News. Bob, thank you for the compliment. Good to see you. Hope your health is on the mend. Paulette is with us. Paulette just sent 200 stars. Thank you, Paulette. This is also Paulette's 29th week as well. And I, I have the I have the I have the microphone like I'm I'm getting really close to oh, sorry about that. Liam says hello. Hi Liam. I remembered to give you a shout out the past couple of episodes. Good evening, Paulette. Hope you're doing well. Let me pause again and do a serious um, statement on this. Uh, Bob and some of his family um, got COVID, and I just want to sincerely, without joking or goofiness, um, send. Bob and his family the very best and I hope you guys are are um, are healthy and getting better Kathy just sent in 50 stars thank you Kathy this is Kathy's 49th week thank you so much Kathy and I I, I want to mention this uh, again in case I forgot uh, Tiffany is the reigning queen of stars she's at 66 weeks so congratulations Tiffany it's amazing to, to see some of these numbers it's just remarkable how many times you wonderful people, you folks, you friends, uh, um, send stars and come back to the show. I'm I'm honored and just pleased as punch. I'm um, it, the show really started off with just audio only, and there was tape over the camera, and you men, women, guys, gals, whatever you, uh, the family that the group that we have here that that follows the, this this show is just remarkable, and I'm. I'm really, really grateful. Bob says he's doing much better. Uh, thank you, Paxlovid. There you go. And with that said, um, Bob sent, ooh, these comments are wild. Bob sent 50 stars. Thank you, Bob. This is Bob's uh, 32nd week sending stars. Maureen just sent 200 stars. Thank you, Maureen. Welcome back. I haven't seen Maureen for a while. Maybe maybe Maureen's been with us and not commenting. Either way, Maureen, it's good to see you, and thank you for the 200 stars. We've got Maureen at 26 weeks. Uh, let me make sure I'm not missing anyone on the roll call. Uh, Kathy says, get well, Bob. There you go. Ross is tagging a smorgasbord of people. Deloitte, Nicolette, Billy Ray, Deanna, Cole, Rick, Christian, Michael, Micaiah, <laughs> okay, Maureen was gone for a week. Well, Maureen, I noticed that you were gone for a week, and I'm I am glad that you have returned uh, to to the show. Welcome back, Dennis is with us. Dennis said, "Hola, blustery Tuesday. No joke. The wind has been ridiculous out there. I haven't heard of any toppled trees in Castor Valley, which is a good thing. And uh, I'm, I am hearing about." Uh, some damage in the Bay Area due to to the winds. Nothing significant. Some trees have come down, but um, yes, an extremely windy, windy Tuesday here. And Dennis sent. Uh, let me make sure. Dennis sent 200 stars. Thank you, Dennis. Dennis is uh, is the king of stars. He has sent stars 65 weeks. Thank you, Dennis. Appreciate your support. 
You are wonderful. Marlon is in the house. Marlon says it's only 285 days till Christmas. So get your shopping started now. And if you're going to shop um, for Christmas now, shop local. Why don't you? You'll feel better. Mom is in the house. Good evening, Mom. Mom says, good evening, Castro Valley. Today is Tuesday, March 14th, 2023. Buy two ads. <laughs> Buy two eggs. Ads. Eggs? Ads. The mispronunciation, the mispronunciation parade has begun. Maggie is with us. Good evening, Maggie. Maggie is tagging Sung, Marlon, and Awa. John is with us. Good evening, John. I was just thinking about you the other day. I hope you and your family are doing well. <clears throat> I am surprised that we are Michael B. and Dawnless tonight. I will text Don right now. He might be, might be busy, but I'm going to text Don and Mike B. Make sure they're going to be joining us. Let's see, Don. John is asking, how is everyone doing? Doing pretty good. Uh, it is, like Dennis mentioned, it's a blustery Tuesday. Uh, we are getting inundated, bombarded, uh, abused by this rain. I was I was talking to mom. Hi, mom. I love you. Uh, if everyone, I'm not. I'm. The last episode I went by really really fast. Uh, mom had her 80th birthday on Sunday and um, was talking to mom about all the rain and it seems like we had quite a few years of no precipitation and now we're getting everything at once, nonstop. <coughs> <coughs> Good evening, Micaiah. Thank you for the 200 stars. Good seeing you this afternoon, Micaiah. Uh, if you do not know who Micaiah is and her shop, she is the proprietor of Restore and Rework located on San Carlos Avenue. If you are looking for one-of-a-kind gifts, if you have furniture that you want refurbished and made to look amazing, go see Micaiah at Restore and Rework. Uh, not only just a wonderful business owner, but she does amazing work. She is located at, oops, I can't see this uh, small print here on the card, uh, 2572 San Carlos Avenue. Uh, custom furniture, restoration and painting, furniture, home decor, metal design, all sorts of fun stuff. Restore and Rework is a great gift shop and just an all-around great gift shop uh, in general. Michael B. is in the house. Good evening. Uh, Michael B. was doing some work, so welcome back. Uh, Paulette says, Mom, and again, thank you again for the 200 stars, Micaiah. You are awesome. Thank you for your support. This is Micaiah's, I have her on the list. This is Micaiah's 19th week sending stars. Thank you, Micaiah. Appreciate your support. And uh, always fun coming by and seeing what you've got new at your shop. Uh, John says, happy birthday. Oh, let's see. Michael B. is in the house. It is a show. Here we go. Still waiting for Don. Might be busy, might, might have some family um, things that he's doing. Um, I want to recognize Maggie for tagging Bonnie, Body Mechanics, Lygia, Sylvia. Uh, who else did Maggie tag? Bonnie and Don and Mike and Norma. So many people that Maggie is tagging. Thank you, Maggie. I appreciate Well, there we go. Don is in the house. Here we go. David's with us. Oh, David is with us. Right on, David. Welcome back to the show, David. David sent 100 stars. Uh, this is David's first week back sending stars. Uh, since David is a local business owner, I'm going to give him a shout out, let you know his business. David owns Daily Dose Plant-Based Health. They are located online. They used to be in the Adobe Center. But if you're looking for vegan stuff, CBD, all sorts of wonderful stuff, please look up Daily Dose online. They do free delivery here in Castro Valley. Uh, David is a vegan himself, so he's not just operating business running blind he knows his stuff again if you're looking for cbd products uh, that will help you with your um sleep help you sleep help your anxiety help you with pain please look up david and daily dose he lives in castro valley he's a local business owner so i can't give david enough shout outs also mark h is with us good evening mark h 
Maggie sent 200 stars. I did not miss that, Maggie. Thank you so much. Maggie, you're awesome, but you, you know that already. Thank you for the 200 stars, Maggie. Uh, Maggie is also a local business owner. She does reverse mortgage, but I'll tell you about Maggie a little bit later because she's one of the advertisers in our magazines. Maggie, I'm not going to forget about you. Don't don't think I ever will. I never will forget about you and your business, Maggie. Thank you for your continued support. This is Maggie's 18th week sending stars. Maggie, you are awesome. Appreciate your support. Uh, David said he's actually here, uh, always cooking dinner at this time. Right on. David, we are glad that you joined us in your cooking something good i'm sure because you're a vegan and i know you know how to cook uh let's see um marlon's got a joke about the midway giveaway answer it says four stores in castle valley have the letter a in the name i'm sure it's more than that marlon thank you for the joke don just sent 20 stars don thank you sir this is don's 58th week sending stars appreciate your support don and appreciate your presence on the show here mark h just sent 200 stars. Thank you, Mark H. This is Mark H's, where do I have Mark H on the list? 15th week. Thank you for the 200 stars, Mark H. Hope you're doing well. With that said, let me, uh, <laughs> Michael B's always got jokes. Michael B says he's hiding Dawn in my house and Dawn is in my bedroom. Oh. Michael B., I appreciate your, your sense of humor. Before we go any further in the show, I'm just going to mention this one time. I'm not going to mention this a lot of times because I don't want this show to ever be the stars show. There is an icon right here that you can click. You purchase stars. You send them to your favorite live content creators on Facebook. It could be Castro Valley News. It could be CNN. It could be NPR. It could be... Uh, the, the the Fraggles, Fraggle Rock. That's really weird. Uh, Fraggles don't even exist anymore. But the cool thing about that is if you send stars, the money you spend on those stars goes directly to your live content creator, your favorite live content creator on Facebook. And it's a really cool thing that Facebook has set up where you can, you know, throw a couple dollars at your favorite live content creator. You don't have to, but if you want to, that's awesome. We appreciate your support. Your support also is just tuning in. Um, Eileen is with us. Good evening, Eileen. Happy Tuesday to you as well. Helen, I think, is new. We've got a new listener. Everybody say hello to Helen. Good evening, Helen. Helen, ha Helen has a great question. Uh, do I know if the community cupboard will reopen? That's a very good question. I wish I had a quality answer to that. The last information that I heard from Tanya, who was the wonderful organizer of the community covered on Forest Avenue. The last thing that I heard from Tanya is was is was was that <laughs> dag nabbit. The last information that I heard about the community covered was that it was going to be relocated to another place near Marshall Elementary School and that just hasn't happened. I have reached out to Tanya a couple times to see what's going on and she really hasn't given me um, much of an answer. Uh, she's busy doing her own photography business and taking care of, of, of life in general. So um, Helen, the, the short story to your answer is I, I don't understand that it's going to be reopening anytime soon, uh, but I can tell you this, there is a similar a uh, food pantry type thing located at the church at the corner of higher and center. It does not accept perishable items, but it's a fairly large um, uh, cupboard type thing where you can donate food there. Also, in addition to that, the Jean is with us. Good evening, Jean. Glad you are joining us tonight. Um, a lot of people are saying hello to mom. A lot of folks are saying hello to Helen. So Helen, uh, on this show, new people get big shout outs. So Kathy is saying hello to Helen. Um, Jean, good evening. Uh, Maggie's saying hello to mom. Uh, Don says hello to Helen. John says hello to Helen. Ross says hello to Helen. So Helen, we welcome you to the show. We welcome all new people with open arms here on the show. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, Helen. So getting back to that question, um, the community cupboard, I, I don't know if it's going to be re relocating, uh, but again, if you go to the church 
that's at the corner of center and higher at the back parking lot. It's the parking lot that, that actually faces the corner of center and higher. There is a cupboard there. It is uh, monitored and, and um, uh, organized by the church there, but you cannot leave perishable items because it's basically just a, a cupboard. The other thing that you can do is I believe you can bring some food items to First Presbyterian Church that's on Grove Way. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's Grove Way near Trader Joe's, and I believe they will accept donations. But with that said, Helen, I wish, I wish the community cupboard w had never closed. It was unfortunate what happened with the community cupboard, and, and as soon as I get a drink of this water, I'll let you know. Don is asking if Bob is here. Yes, he is. Bob is with us. Uh, Tiffany says hello to Helen. Gene is saying, hi, mom. Hi, mom. I love you. Uh, the community covered on Forest Avenue. Unfortunately, what happened was, despite the pleading that Tanya and, and myself did for people to not double park and not block driveways, it happened numerous times. And unfortunately, the wonderful community covered on Forest Avenue had to be closed. They received some threatening letters from the county. And unfortunately, the community cupboard on Forest Avenue had to close. There was another person near Marshall that was supposedly going to be setting up the community cupboard. That was months ago, and it has not happened yet. I will reach out to Tanya in the meantime and see if she, maybe she has some, some new information and hopefully some, some good news. But in the meantime, again, at the, the there is a church. I don't know exactly the name of it, but there is a church in the corner of Center and Higher that has a cupboard where you can donate non-perishable items. So anything that is perishable, anything that's going to expire um, immediately that requires refrigeration or freezing, they cannot uh, accept those items. There's also, uh, Katie, welcome to the show. Glad you can join us. We are, I am pleased as punch that uh, you've joined us. John has a question. I'm going to get to that in a moment because Ross was asking that very same question. I do have an updated um, a little bit of updated information on the uh, individual who hit the lady at the church on Grove Way. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss that later. But there is also, since we're talking, a lot of talk about church, churches, and I, this is completely coincidental, there is the Greek Orthodox Church that is also on center. They do a food pantry uh, twice a month, I believe, on Saturdays. I believe that church will accept perishable items. So all you have to do is just go to the Greek Orthodox Church office, which I think is just adjacent to the church, and let them know that you have some perishable items to donate. With that said, the caveat is I would definitely call that church in, in advance to see that they are accepting donations because I think they do have a, uh, a working relationship with the Alameda County Food Bank. Also, if you have non-perishable items and you would like to donate them, there are a number of barrels located in the Castro Valley Library on Norbridge. So again, these are non-perishable items. So if you're going to bring cereal, if you're going to bring uh, um, mac and cheese boxes, cans of food, cans of vegetables, those can be donated at the barrels that are in the main lobby right near the front door at the Castro Valley Library. There are four gigantic barrels. They are always full of food, so it's, it's, it's awesome and impressive to see whenever I'm at the library um, checking stuff out. But um, those, are, those are the options that are, that are still open to folks that would like to donate food. And uh, I, am, I, I am still um, sad and despondent that the, the, the community covered on Forest Avenue could not continue because it was such a wonderful and amazing resource to a lot of people, especially during the pandemic and even not during the pandemic because there's a lot of our uh, houseless individuals um, that utilized the community covered a lot because they did have the refrigerator freezer option for a lot of the folks that, that do live on the streets that are out in the elements and don't have access to to food as much as as we do here in in our in our own um, housed situations, so Helen, I wish I had a better answer for you, but there are still a couple of options for folks in town 
who do want to donate food. And I'll go down those one more time, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dwell on this topic too much more because we gotta we gotta get to the midway giveaway real soon. And I do have other things uh, for the show here. Uh, Ross is ta- Ross and Don are just having a tag party, and I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. Thank you guys so much. So if you are looking to donate food, you have a couple options. Uh, that are kind of handy. There are a couple of churches. There's First Presbyterian Church on Groveway. It's near Trader Joe's. Uh, I would call them in advance to make sure uh, what they're accepting. There's also the Greek Orthodox Church on Center. They have a food pantry uh, where they give a lot of food out to people uh, twice a month. They may accept perishable and non-perishable items. And the last place that I know of locally here in Castro Valley is going to be the church at the corner of Center and Higher. They do have a food pantry that is open to anyone to walk up. You don't have to talk to anyone. You you don't need to contact anyone or ask to to take or leave items, Uh, but non-perishable items. Bob says there's a food program on Lake Chabot Road by the old animal shelter that is quite busy when open, don't know more. That is uh, the Alameda County Sheriff's, Deputy Sheriff's Activity League, the pharmacy. It's called P-H-A-R-M-A-C-Y. I am not sure if they accept donations. I think they have a farm collective and they grow things there. I would, again, I would call them before you try to, um, to donate at that location. Uh, I do have a few minutes for some other things that I wanted to get to. But um, yeah, I, I I I'm I'm backtracking and and just kind of screeching back that I'm I'm super sad that the community cupboard is no more here in Castro Valley and uh, hopefully some other location might open it up. But unfortunately, those complaints led to its untimely and unceremonious demise. Tanya, if you are listening by any chance, thank you for everything that you have done with the community covered on forest before it had to close down. Tanya and her significant other dedicated so many hours to stocking the community covered, to accepting donations, sorting things out. They worked with uh, some food distributors and they got really good stuff there. They worked also with Safeway and I think Lucky's and they had really good stuff there. It was, it was a good thing, but you know, like the saying goes, sometimes good things don't last. I have just a couple minutes to mention a few things here. Uh, I'm going to mention this till the cows come home, moo. The spring book sale, May 5th, 6th, and 7th. If you haven't marked your calendars for this, you need to do this right now because this is, it's a wonderful organization, the Friends of the Castle Valley Library. They do nothing but great stuff for the library. Nathan is with us. Nathan, welcome back. Nathan, you're just in time. I'm talking about the big spring book sale happening at the Castro Valley Library. It is going to be May 5th, 6th, and 7th. If you like cookbooks, children's books, travel books, mystery books, biographies, kids' books, they are all here. And one of the most cool things about spending money at this book sale is every penny every dime, every dollar that you spend at these book sales goes directly back to the library. The Friends of the Library are a nonprofit. They're all volunteers. And what they do is they have these book sales. All the items that they sell are donated from the community. So all the money that they make from these book sales and the bookstore that's at the library, these dollars that you spend at these wonderful events and the cool bookstore it, it pays for programs at the library and for more additional material at the library. So it's a win for you because you get to find cool stuff at the book sale or the bookstore. And the friends direct that money to the library and they purchase additional material for folks to use, for kids to use, for children's programs, uh, the children's reading program, for the times when they have magicians and musicians come in for the kids for people who do the story time things, for um, for the adult programs. There's an adult reading program. It's a win-win. And um, unsolicited testimonial right here. I always walk away from the book sale with an armful of cool stuff. I love the book sales. I love digging. I love thrifting. Um, I love the thrill of the hunt. So there's my unsolicited thing. So last call, 
do not miss the big spring book sale. It's coming up May 5th, 6th, and 7th. They also uh, accept credit card and debit cards too as well. So you don't have to, you don't have to bring cash, but it would help them if you did. So I do have one other thing that I want to mention. I want to mention again, the Castro Valley Eden Area Chamber of Commerce, their big mixer coming up March 23rd. It's going to be at Woodrow Woods School, 750 Fargo. Fargo, I almost said something different than Fargo. Don's laughing. <laughs> so am I. Uh, it's 750 Fargo Avenue. It has nothing to do with flatulence, and I apologize for my silliness here, but we like... We like some shenanigans on the show. Shenanigans are okay. March 23rd is the Castro Valley Eden Area Chamber of Commerce Mixer. Woodrow Woods School, 750 Fargo Avenue. That's in San Leandro. If you are a business owner and you are looking to find an organization that will help promote your business and help you meet other business people and get other people interested in your businesses, this is the group for you. The Castro Valley Eden Area Chamber of Commerce. They're two top People are amazing folks that I know, Janella Anguiano and Todd Anglin. So uh, this event is free for members, $10 for non-members. But again, if you are looking to get dialed in to the local business community, that includes Castro Valley, San Leandro, parts of San Lorenzo, Ashland, Fairview. It's a big area. The Castro Valley Eden Area Chamber of Commerce, their mixers and their organization in general are for you. Great folks, always doing something in the community that's awesome to help promote um, local businesses. And that's what I try to do on the show here. Uh, let's see, what's on the list? Some other stuff on the list. New roll call, book sale, chamber mixer. Uh, we're gonna do that later. I have two minutes. <laughs> uh, I think that's the third of uh, this show, and I'm trying to eliminate them. Last week, the last show, Saturday, there were two us, and I'm trying to eliminate the us. And I, I, I had a conversation with mom about the us. Mom, I love you. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Someone sent me an email asking me specifically what is the noise maker around my neck that I wear during the show this is and I don't just wear it during the show I, I, I purposely wear it during the show but I wear it um, most days and I'm gonna try to get through this without losing my mind here uh, this is there's another uh, dang nabbit this is the, the microchip card and uh, rabies vaccination things from Hank. And it's just a way for me to keep him on the show and keep him with me because he was, Hank was a staple during the show and I'd like to keep him here w on the show in one way or another. Oh. So if you hear this, and also the sound, this just sounds like him shaking. So it's a selfish and silly way that I that I remind myself of him every day. Let's get to the midway giveaway, shall we? Uh, Nathan, thank you. Nathan's asking, can I recommend a good vet for his dog? Decent pricing. Uh, I took Hank to uh, Eden, and that is on Redwood near the 7-eleven you just pass the corner right there uh eden they were they were wonderful with hank they were wonderful with hank for so many years and when when hank passed i let them know because i didn't i didn't want to hear i didn't want to receive more cards from them letting me know that he needed shots or whatever they were wonderful they sent me a card that was handwritten from all of their staff uh, saying that they 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 were of course they were sorry and they it, it just it was warm it was wonderful so uh, Nathan 
go check out the folks over at Eden Pet Hospital. They're 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 great. It's if I'm I, I'm don't think I'm mistaken. It's an all female veterinary veterinary clinic, and they they they've got huge hearts. They've treated Hank with nothing but kindness for a lot of years. So uh, that's who I would recommend, Nathan, if you're if you're looking for someplace local. Um, you're welcome, Nathan, and best to you and your dog. And Nathan, and anybody else listening, if you have a dog, love it as much as you can. Don't miss an opportunity to kiss it, to hug it, to treat it right, to cuddle it, to give it treats, to walk your dog as often as you can, because when they're gone, it's just, you, you it, it, it's super difficult. So that's what I wanted to say about that. Let's get to the Midway giveaway. Uh, Don's giving me hugs. John, you are awesome. Thank you. Uh, John says Hank is the best. He, he he was. And anyways, let's do the Midway giveaway before I start losing my uh, losing my uh, losing all my tears here. And here's the thing that I forgot tonight. I forgot to have the Midway giveaway number handy. And while I access that page and i'm already late for the midway and i, I apologize for that um maureen says she misses hank hang, hanging out um behind me i i'm i miss him too and to be honest with you guys there are sometimes i don't watch the shows after they've been <laughs> they've been put out into the ether but there were a couple times where i've gone through the page and i've seen some of the old episodes and I've seen Hank just he he'd be walking right here and it it's 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 a lot. It's a lot. So anyways, this this page thing isn't coming up. Let me give you the midway giveaway text line here. And I apologize for for the delay and uh, the noise that it makes when I'm when I'm typing because I'm sure it does. Um, there we go. So the midway giveaway text line is five one zero three three one nine one one two. Nathan says he does. Uh, his dog is his son. My Hank was my son too. Uh, let's get to the midway giveaway before I start. Right. So the Midway giveaway works as such. Every episode, uh, roughly halfway through the episode, there's a trivia question. And the first person to text the correct answer to that text line wins a gift card from the following businesses. And I've got some good ones here tonight. Oh boy, I got a couple more, a couple new ones today to, uh, to replenish the gift certificate gift card treasure chest. We've got $25 from Eden Cycles located in the Castro Village Shopping Center. Holy moly, we've got $20 to Pete's Ace Hardware located on Castro Valley Boulevard. We've got $20 to Restore and Rework located on San Carlos Avenue. If you're not familiar with Restore and Rework, you need to familiarize yourself with that business. $20 to Pompas. Coffee and empanadas located on Castro Valley Boulevard, but they will be moving to uh, Redwood Road right next to Trader Joe's very soon. We've got $20 of fun and frivolity to Golfland located on Castro Valley Boulevard. I'm just kind of proud that I said fun and frivolity without mispronouncing anything. We've got, holy moly, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble for this. We've got $20 to Portales. Go see my Aunt Rosa at Portales, located on Cash Valley Boulevard. $20 to one bad Apple Records, owned by the handsome, the wonderful, the delightful Don. One bad Apple Records on Cash Valley Boulevard. We've got, oh, yeah, I got this one the other day, too. A lot of people 
lot of people had a lot of feedback about this place. We've got $20 to the U European market and catering. If you don't know about this place, familiarize yourself with it immediately. They are located just off Redwood Road. You drive in the parking lot where Liquor King is. All sorts of European deliciousness and wonderful, wonderful owners. So uh, yes, $20 to European market could be yours. You could also win a month of unlimited yoga at Castro Valley Yoga, which entitles you to access their weekly live stream classes as well as their library of recorded classes. Holy moly. Julie, welcome to the show. Castro Valley Yoga is located on Castro Valley Boulevard. Uh, Julie, welcome to the show. Uh, Nathan says the owners of Liquor King are uh, do, 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 something else. Uh, Nathan, <laughs> oh man, Maggie just sent an additional 200 stars. That brings her up to 400 stars. Thank you, Maggie. Um, I don't want to talk trash about any businesses, but Nathan, um, I don't know if you, you might be aware of this, but during the pandemic, uh, there were there was price gouging, and unfortunately, here in Castro Valley, Liquor King uh, were fined for price gouging and uh, the the amount was not uh, pleasant, but uh, I wish the people of Liquor King the very best. And I'm sorry, I just spilled some tea there. It's public knowledge, you can look it up. It was actually, uh, I think it was, it was in a story that we posted, so it's public knowledge. Anyways, um, $20 to Daily Dose Plant-Based Health. They are located, they used to be in the Adobe Center, but they are located online. You're looking for CBD gummies, vegan treats, wonderful stuff, all sorts of vegan supplements. In addition to all that goodness, they deliver free to all Castro Valley residents. Last but not least, a pet spa day to Classy Canine Wiggle Rumps located on Castro Valley Boulevard, a few doors down from Handsome Don at One Bad Apple Records. I think, I think we have a new nickname for Don. And it's not Don is the mom. It is Handsome Don. Ooh, I like the ring of that. Handsome Don. Yeah. Yeah. Handsome Don at One Bad Apple Records. I love it. Without further ado, let's get to the Midway giveaway, shall we? I'll give you the phone number one more time. 510-331-9112. The first person to text the correct answer will win. I hope I can stump you guys with this one, but if I don't, that's okay. We've got more stuff to talk about. Here we go. Uh, what gone but not forgotten Castro Valley business was named after a masterless samurai? I think someone's going to get this one pretty quick. I gave you the question one more time, and please text is best. Uh, what gone but not forgotten Castro Valley business was named after masterless samurai? 510-331-9112. Text me your answer and win a gift card. Five one zero. I'll just post it up in the comments. It's, that's easier. 510-331-9112 is the text line. Please let me know what gone but not forgotten Castro Valley business was named after a masterless samurai. Uh, we got a guess for Genghis. Not correct. I think that I think Genghis is G E N G H I X. Kind of a wordplay on Genghis Khan. But one more time, here's a question for you: What gone but not forgotten Castro Valley business was named after a masterless samurai? Five one zero three three one nine one one two. Please send me your guesses. Nathan says I'm a great person. Nathan, you are a great person. Anyone who says their dog is their son, you're you're my kind of person. Uh, Mike B is guessing one bad apple, not correct. Uh, Castro Gardens, not correct. Uh, Fong's Dang How, not correct. Got a lot of good guesses. Nobody's getting it right though. I can give you the question one more time. Oh, Katie won. Congratulations, Katie. The correct answer is Ronin Games on center. Katie, congratulations. That was a fast one. So let me give you the question and the answer. 
simultaneously. Uh, what, the gone but not forgotten Castro Valley business that was named after a masterless samurai, that is Ronin Games. Used to be on Center Street, closed a few years ago. Uh, Ronin were masterless samurai in medieval times. Congratulations, Katie. And uh, finally, Katie won right on. So Katie, what you could do to help me is text me which gift card you would like in addition to your address, and I will mail said gift certificate or gift card off to you as soon as possible, which would be tomorrow. Congratulations, Katie. But before we move on to anything else, Mark H says, congratulations, Katie, as does Handsome Don. Katie says, thank you, you're welcome. Dennis says, yay, Katie, congratulations, Katie. Before we move on to anything else during, I forgot what I was gonna say. Before we move on to anything else in the show tonight, let me let you know who tonight's sponsors are. They are the advertisers in our most current magazine. This handsome fella right here is our most current magazine. There may be some of these left around town. I can't guarantee you that, but they were delivered last week. There might be one here or there. But what you can do is if you want one, it's a win-win. Just go ahead and shop local. Shop local everywhere around town until you find one. That works for me. Hey, sometimes I have good ideas, sometimes I don't. But thank you so much to our magazine sponsors, Pete's Ace Hardware, located on Castro Valley Boulevard, one of Castro Valley's longest running businesses here in Castro Valley. 95 years and they are wonderful folks they do so much stuff behind the scenes they raise money for uh, the UCSF Benioff Hospital they they donate hot dogs and hamburgers for all of the barbecues that the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts do the fundraisers out there you know those fundraisers outside Pete's Ace Hardware you may not know this Pete's Ace Hardware pays for all the food that those kids fundraise with I bet you didn't know that maybe you did Thank you so much to Garav Balbi Kalra. He is an attorney located in Pasadena and San Ramon. He handles wrongful termination, sexual harassment, workplace discrimination, whistleblower claims, wage theft claims for regular and overtime and retaliation. Garav Bobby Kalra is also a Castro Valley High graduate class of 1993. Right here in his ad at the bottom, he says, Go Trojans! Right on. Thank you for your support, Garav Bobby Kalra. If you would like to call him, you can reach him at 213-435-3469. Again, if you have workplace issues and you are looking to potentially engage in litigation with your former employer, Garab Bobby Kalra is the individual for you to contact. Thank you so much to CV San, Castro Valley Sanitary District right here, one of the Bay Area's longest running governmental government agencies. They handle garbage and recycling services in Castro Valley. They also handle wastewater here in Castro Valley. They are extremely fiscally responsible and their goal is to have people recycle and waste as little as possible. Thank you so much to the wonderful folks at CV San. Coming up, oh my goodness, here he is, Todd Anglin, your State Farm Superman. If you have insurance and or financial service needs, Hit up Todd Anglin. He is located at 20235 Redwood Road, Unit C. You can reach him at 510-537-8100. Todd Anglin is also tied into the Castor Valley Rotary, the Castor Valley Eden Area Chamber of Commerce. Todd does so much stuff behind the scenes, and I appreciate his support here on Castor Valley News. By popular demand, from Dawn. Here she is. This is Maggie Castillo Jaima's page. She is your local reverse mortgage specialist. 
Let me give you her phone number if you would like to contact her. If you are 62 years or older, own a home, find out how you can live in your home with no monthly mortgage payments. Call Maggie at 831-840-3384. You'll be glad you did. She has been in her industry for a long time and she knows what she is doing right here. Thank you so much, Maggie Castillo-Haima, Reverse Mortgage Specialist. Thank you so much to Shane Sharkey with the Castro Valley School of Music. He is located on Castro Valley Boulevard, right around the corner from Southern Comfort Kitchen. Go get yourself some lunch or some dinner and talk to Shane if you are looking to get singing lessons. If you wanna learn how to play the ukulele, the guitar, drums, uh, the trumpet, the saxophone, you name it. If you are looking to enrich your life by learning how to play a musical instrument, Shane Sharkey is the guy for you. He's just a cool guy. In addition to that, he's, he's just, he's fun to talk to. He knows his stuff. Last but not least, thank you so much to your local real estate specialist, Janella Anguiano, Century 21 located on Redwood Road. If you have real estate questions, if you're looking to buy or sell, please hit up Janella Anguiano, Century 21. The office is located on Redwood Road across from the BART station. You can reach her at 510-755-5199. Janella is also another mover and shaker with the Castro Valley Eden Area Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much to all of our advertisers again. This is the most recent magazine we have uh, out on the streets. There might be some left here and there. Um, the cool thing here is if you want to go get one of these, go shop local all day long and eventually you'll find one. They went fast at a lot of different businesses uh, because it's, it's, it's a great magazine. And we have another one in the works that's going to be coming out real, real soon. Let me get to this next because I know there's been quite a few uh, requests for this. I'm going to give you an image here. These are some images that I uh, took from the video from the hit and run that happened in the parking lot near First Presbyterian Church on Grove Way. This happened February 11th. It was 7.17 p.m. I'm going to give you all the backstory here right now, and then I'll give you the update. The update is very, very short. Um, the attack happened in the parking lot shared by First Presbyterian Church and Trader Joe's on Grove Way, Castor Valley. Uh, church employees said they've never seen the driver before and they are shocked at what happened. I can't show you the video. What had happened was this driver in this vehicle circled around an elderly lady pushing a shopping cart. There was some sort of contact between the elderly lady and the individual's car. The individual said some words to the lady. There, I think there was an exchange of words the individual in this car circled back around and sideswiped the lady, knocked her down, uh, knocked her cane out of her hand. He drove around again, stopped briefly, backed up and rear ended a parked car. He also appeared to use his uh, car to deliberately hit the woman, causing her to go up on the hood and falling to the ground. This driver took off. The victim is a 77 year old hearing impaired homeless woman who attends first protect first Presbyterian Church and was walking there to eat a meal the church serves nightly when she was attacked. So here you go. Uh, yes, Tiffany says the video was nuts. The video was definitely nuts. It was obvious this was a deliberate act of malice against this elderly lady. Um, unfortunately, the video does not show the car's license plate. The driver is in his late 20s or early 30s. He, is, he was wearing a black and red jersey with flames on his sleeves with a Nike, lo Nike logo on the back. He also had a black and red Michael Jordan tennis shoes on. Sheriff's Office said the driver faces charges including hit and run and vehicular assault. Anyone with information should contact the Alameda County Sheriff's Office at 510-6677. I'll give you that number one more time. Again, February 11th, 7.17 p.m., 510-667-7721. So the, uh, the story that I have here, the update, welcome to the show, David, glad you can join us. Uh, the update that I have is according to uh, Lieutenant Ty, mm, darn, 
mispronounced. According to the sheriff's office, they have nothing new on this. And it's unfortunate and it's frustrating. And it has all of us unhappy that this person has essentially gotten away with injuring this senior citizen over what was probably a small contact that this person had with this person's vehicle. Let me get a drink here because I'm, I'm peeved. If someone happens to contact your car when you drive by them, um, doesn't mean that you should hit them. Um, anyways, uh, it's frustrating that some people feel that their lives are more important than other people's lives and that their schedule and uh, they're so self-important that they feel like they should be able to uh, do these things and have no no regard for other people's lives. I think it's an unfortunate comment on a lot of the self-centeredness and apathy that, that some people have out there. I'm not saying that everyone has it because there's a lot more, I think there's a whole lot more people that do care than there are people who don't care. But um, I wish I had better news for you guys when it comes to uh, this hit and run. And I thank Ross for being diligent and reminding me to keep reaching out to people. I will bring both of these hit and runs, this one that happened at Trader Joe's near the church, in addition to the other one that happened on Noons Avenue. I'll bring those up fairly frequently so that we don't forget about them in, in hopes that it will jog someone's memory and, and, uh, and we got some first responders on the freeway here and I had to look. But I will bring these to your attention and we will discuss them often during the show so that we can all not forget about these horrible things that people have done here in Castle Valley with their vehicles. Bonnie is with us. Good evening, Bonnie. Welcome to the show. We've got another new listener. Bonnie is with us. Good evening, Bonnie. And thank you to Maggie for taking Bonnie. So that's two new listeners we have tonight. We've got Bonnie and Helen. Glad you guys can join us. Uh, with that said, Bonnie says hello to Maggie. Don says hello to Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie. Glad you can join us. Welcome to the show. My name is Roberto. This is the Castro Valley News live show. We do this live show every Tuesday from 7 to 8 p.m. And it's a really cool thing that we do. Okay, so I just looked on the freeway. There have been, I think, two or three sheriffs heading towards San Leandro. So there's something going on in San Leandro right now. I thought maybe they were heading the other direction into Castor Valley. I would, I would monitor that and let you guys know what's going on. So we just had uh, two sheriffs, Alameda County sheriffs, going code three on the freeway heading towards San Leandro. Not sure what's going on, but uh, wanted to let you know because you probably heard the sirens. Uh, through the microphone, because this is a really good microphone. Let's round out the show tonight by the Meredith is in the house. Meredith just sent a thousand stars. Thank you, Meredith. This is Meredith's second week sending stars. I actually jogged my memory and remember this is Meredith's second week. Thank you, Meredith. Appreciate your support. Again, if you guys want to send some stars, go for it. Have at it. I love it. Don is saying hello to Meredith. Meredith, thank you for the 1,000 stars. And if you're listening and you would like to meet or eclipse Meredith's 1,000 stars, have at it. Have some fun. The last thing I have for tonight. Uh, okay, we got a joke from Michael B. Uh, Michael B. says they're coming to get you tonight for doing a crazy show. Okay. Okay. They're coming to take me away. Ha ha, ho ho, hee hee, to the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time. That's a song. Uh, I think it, I don't remember what it was. Meredith, thank you again for the 1,000 stars. Last segment for tonight. I got, I've got about five minutes left I can cover with this one. Uh, this is the Hey Wait, I've Got a New Complaint segment. 
Uh, Eileen says, uh, thought we were going longer now. I think if we're going to end up doing a 90 minute show, I'm going to, I'm going to tiptoe to the 90 minute show and have more segments. And at some point we can do 90 minutes but I'd like to be more comfortable having uh, subsequent com content for the show. So uh, at some point, we may end up doing 90 minutes, but not tonight, not just yet. So the last thing I have for tonight, I've got about five minutes to, to, to give, give you this. This is the, hey, wait, I've got a new complaint. And this is, um, I gotta let you guys know. Uh, Katie says, how about a good news segment? Absolutely, we can do that. That's a good one. I think also if we were to have a segment where we kind of talk about a business in Castro Valley that deserves some support, we can do that too. So thank you to Katie and Eileen because you're, you're planting the seeds for us to actually at some point have that 90 minute show on Tuesdays. Um, so I've got two concepts going forward. Is a, a good news segment, which I love. I love that. I love that for a segment that could definitely bring us a, a step closer to 90 minutes. Also, I think a business spotlight where we talk about one business randomly for maybe a few minutes and we can all talk about this business and give. Um, that Ross says, how about an all Don segment? I say no, it should be an all Don, handsome Don segment. Um, let's see, John. John starts his new job on April 4th. Congratulations, John. Your new employer is lucky to have you. They made a wise choice. Uh, let's see. Helen says this 1966 novelty, maybe an ancient rap precursor song was recorded by Jerry Samuels, AKA Napoleon the fifth and reached number three on the billboard chart describing the awful fate of a man whose dog has run away. That's it. Um, I remember hearing that on Dr. Demento all the time. Uh, let's see. Um, John says a tree did fall behind the Quail Hill Apartments. There you go. Eileen says, how about a Lucille segment? That's a good one. I could get more stories from Lucille. I don't want to push her because she's retired and she needs her time for herself, but that's a good idea. With that said, let's get to ooh, almost the end of the show. Um, we could save some of this extra stuff for the next show and make it longer because I didn't get to any scams and I didn't get to the, hey, wait, I've got a new complaint. Michael B. has a suggestion to do a segment on a former Castro Valley person that has moved to Amador County. I, w I wonder who that would be. Um, Katie says, maybe intro a business at the end of the show and give us a week to visit, then come back to discuss and praise and share experiences the following week. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. This show which is number 206 is just about over with that said let me congratulate katie because she won the midway let me thank bonnie and helen they are our new listeners for tonight for this episode bonnie and helen joined us for the first time bonnie and helen thank you for joining us we are glad to have you with us tonight this, again, is episode 206. Uh, David says, segment on Castro Valley history so I can win more Midway gifts. It's a great idea. That would be the uh, Lucille segment, I would guess. Well, let me thank our stars senders. Ross sent 25 stars. Paulette sent 200. Kate, Kathy sent 50. Bob sent 50. Maureen sent 200. Dennis sent 200. Micaiah sent 200. David sent 100, Maggie sent 400, Don sent 20, Mark H sent 200, Meredith sent 1,000, 
stars. And Tiffany sent a hundred stars. Tiffany is the reigning queen of stars. 66 weeks. And we've got Dennis, the king of stars. Dennis sent 200 stars. Dennis has sent stars 65 weeks. Thank you guys for making episode 206 wonderful and special. Nathan just sent 50 stars. Thank you, Nathan. This is this is going to be Nathan's first week. Thank you so much, Nathan. And, oh, did I miss Eileen? Uh-oh. Now I'm going to mention it. Sorry, Eileen. Eileen sent 200 stars. Eileen has sent stars 64 weeks. Thank you, Eileen, and I apologize for missing that in the earlier thread. Let me say that again one more time. Eileen just sent 200 stars. Eileen has sent stars 64 weeks. Friends, we do this show every Tuesday night from 7 to 8 p.m. We might be doing it from 7 to 8.30 p.m. sometime in the future. Let me uh, let me get my chops together and, and work on that. But I want to thank you guys so much for making episode 206 wonderful. Congratulations to Katie, who won the Midway. And congratulations to everyone for being awesome. Thank you guys for supporting the show. Please, 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 if you take nothing away from the show, shop local. It's so important that we support our local businesses now more than ever. And we have so many wonderful businesses to spend our money at. Also, I want to spend, I want to spend, I want to spend local. Yeah, and I just did today. I bought a bunch of gift cards, so I spent local. I want to send thoughts of healing to Bob and his family. Hope you guys get well soon. Bob and his family have COVID. I'm mentioning this with his okay, because he mentioned it during Saturday's show. And as always, if you are after getting all the honey, then you don't go killing all the bees. I will see you next Tuesday, 7 8 p.m. Thank you guys for being on. Awesome and honest. Handsome Bob says get handsome Don says get well, Bob. Thank you, handsome Don. <laughs>